It was another winning week for the Lockie Two-Step and Lockie Trinity free parlay for you guys last week at UFC Abu Dhabi as Shamil Gadziev and uh, Umar Nurmagomedov make easy work of their opponents cashing at minus 120 for us and then to top it off the lucky trinity ends up hitting for us as well as joel alvarez finishes elvis brenner in the third round of their matchup cashing at plus 178 it's been a great year for the uh lucky two-step and lucky trinity i can pull up the uh the stats here for you guys so for the lucky two-step 15 and 11 on the year for plus 6.15 units and a 24 percent roi lucky trinity 10 and 16 plus 7.74 units and a 30 percent roi as well so it's been very profitable this year let's see if we can keep it up just a reminder there is no quick picks version of the breakdowns for you guys this week so if you want the full card breakdown i dropped it on monday in the mma lock cast and i've also dropped the gutierrez and lee breakdown which was put together on fight week as its individual video check out the youtube channel to uh, see that video as well Uh, but you guys will still be getting the free parlay video as i'm dropping right now and the three best props video on friday so stay tuned for that all right let's get right into it first step up in the locky two-step is going to be mr danny barlow as he's taking on nikolai veritanikov who comes in on short notice in his ufc debut veritanikov came up short on the contender series i believe in 2021 or 2022 uh, against michael morales that was a matchup where he pretty much got out grinded uh you know had some glimpses of success in that matchup but for the most part it was uh morales who was able to get the better of him and i expect barlow to utilize his defensive grappling to keep this fight upright and then from there i think he'll showcase his striking advantage with his speed his southpaw left down the pipe uh and the power that he possesses and i think he'll eventually find that big knockout here over veritanikov veritanikov does have three straight finishes on the regional scene which has given them this opportunity uh to make a short norris ufc debut but i think that confidence might go to his head a little bit too much here and end up uh costing him against the guy who i think is the far superior striker so give me barlow and barlow as the first step in the locky two step the second step is going to be in the co-main event with chepe mariscal as he goes up against damon jackson this could be a competitive fight a little bit early but i expect mariscal's um cardio his durability to pay off here and the ways uh the ways he sets the pace and activity i think that's really going to cause uh, jackson a lot of issues here chepe does not uh accept uh, positions uh, you know he works very well out of those spots and Jackson will be looking to wrap him up on the ground and potentially put him away but I think that we'll see good enough work from Chepe here to keep him working and then really start to cruise in the second and third rounds where he could potentially pull away with a third round victory or at least winning this fight on the scorecards but I do think he is good enough to rely on in this lucky two-step uh free parlay so when i dropped it to the patreon folks earlier this week they were able to get it in at minus 114 as of right now they're looking at minus 123 we'll see uh if it comes through for us but i feel pretty damn good about it if you want to stretch this to the locky trinity adding a third leg we're going to go with an underdog here in the main event with marcin tybura as he takes on sergey spivak once again but i do think that tybura even though he's four years older since they're first fight back in 2020 i think he's still the better fighter here overall his grappling should allow him to compete with spivak but eventually it's going to be the striking and cardio of tybura that should allow him to pull away in deep waters in this matchup i think he's far more suited for five rounds and i don't think that spivak is ready for that just overall mma game just as he showed in his first fight i'll give spivak the benefit of the doubt he's 20 pounds heavier uh than he was in their first fight he has eight more fights of experience as well but i still think that tybura at 38 years old can defeat this version of spivak and to get him at underdog odds and to throw him into this parlay i think it's more than worth it so if you were to lock it in earlier this week you were able to get plus 321 on the lock of the night patreon page but as of right now you're getting a slightly better line as there has been some action coming in on the spivak side which now brings tybora uh included in this parlay up to plus 327 all right i will see you guys tomorrow for the three best prop bets for ufc vegas 95 see you guys then